to the fog shop it's been a little bit since i've put uh, put a real video out and part of that reason is it's well <laughs> life um if you followed along you know what all has happened but things are a lot better now uh except for one thing my shoulder over here is uh something wrong i just went and had an mri done on that a little bit ago i think i might have a torn rotator cuff been that way for about a month and a half now but on a good note it's a beautiful day here in central iowa it's a lot cooler today i think we're in the 70s right now it has been really hot it's been in the you know 90s with heat index i think up to 110 many many times and during that time along with my crappy shoulder we got this girl we got this girl back together new clutch in it put the transmission back in it transfer case drive line all that jazz and i i uh put the battery in it the other day it only had about eight volts in it got it uh charged up and fired it right up i drove it around darn thing drives good it does have a couple problems with it which i'm i'm not going to cover everything in this video i plan on making another video here real soon where i'll cover a couple of the issues with the truck um i don't think anything's real major but um let's take her for a drive first we gotta get this get this door open it's a little bit breezy out so we'll see how this goes i gotta use my other arm to do this it just hurts too much and i suppose there better get this out of the way so we'll jump in the old 93 ford f-150 here She's got the inline six. First, I'm gonna see if it'll start. I drove it around and what did I do? I drove it around, came down the next day and she didn't wanna start, put the battery charger on it. She's been sitting here a couple of days now and no, I don't have the interior all back together yet, but things are where I can use them. Um, one problem I have is the uh, one, the rear tank uh, the fuel pump just doesn't work and neither tank shows how much gas is in it i i dumped a little bit out of a can i had in it i think if i remember right i think the guy that i got this truck from told me i think he said it was half full but i don't know i'm afraid to drive it too far without well fill on that tank but uh we'll take it for a little spin and really the interior is in really decent shape well except the seat that i'm sitting on but over on this side oh, i got a bunch of shirts and stuff in here but really not too bad um take the seat cover off i don't know what's behind here i don't i don't think it's too shabby but uh the dash is in good shape except for the fuel selector switch <laughs> that just broke out yesterday i came down was messing around with it and that popped out so i have to get that stuck back in there not a big deal but let's see if she'll fire up like a kitten. All right, let's get the hood shut on this thing. She runs smooth. Uh, before I back it out of here, I suppose I need to move a couple of things. So I'll, uh, I'll get that taken care of. Okay, I got that taken care of. Jesse's making sure I did a good job there. Got a little bit of a little bit of junk in the back I need to clean out. Well, not this. That that goes on the floor of the truck. It hurts to even raise my arm up. Um, but yeah, a little 
a bit of a mess here. We'll go over the whole truck in the next video. Right now, I'm just trying to, just a quick little thing. Well, let's go for, we'll go for a little drive down the road here. And this does have the T18, the T18, just a four speed transmission, which a lot of people didn't even know you could get in this here truck. It was an option, it was a $123 option. You can actually hear the, that new clutch I put in when it engages. Just barely, I need to get broken a little bit. And the flywheel might have had a little bit of surface rust, been sitting for a while. Got a lot of dust on the windshield here too. But I will have to say, this truck, it really drives good. And it's a little noisy right now since I have nothing covering anything down here. Probably end up losing some of these clips. Anyway, um, it does have the granny low, which I'm not going to use. Got a little squeak coming from somewhere too. One thing that doesn't work, windshield wipers don't work. Haven't looked into that yet. Windshield's a little dirty. But we'll just take it out of here for a quick little, little drive. And Jess is coming along, I guess. I guess we'll go this way. Works good, which 
surprised the heck out of me. I'm just going to leave her outside for right now. I don't know what that squeak is coming from. I'll figure it out though. Seems to have gotten worse. Can't hold on to things with this armor. Rather tender. But she's not pretty. It's patina. That's what it is. It's patina. But uh I'll, I'll go over everything that to make it look decent. I'll do that here in another video real soon. But uh overall, I'm pretty happy with it. it drives really good. It does need new tires. Some of these tires are not looking too hot. Especially this especially this one back here. It's rather cracked and stuff. I don't know. Wouldn't mind getting some new tires on it. Um kind of like to find some I uh, like what um kind of like to find like what I had the original ones on my green truck. I wish I never would have sold those things. Um but I did. Uh if I could find a set of those with tires halfway cheap, that'd be the way to go. But wouldn't mind getting some new tires on this and heck I'll run it around all winter long just like this. Probably need to replace the uh original um automatic hubs on that. Those those are notorious for going bad, but um uh, no, she she runs good, guys. She's up and running, and I foresee many a video coming. But really the inside of the bed doesn't look too bad. I'm not, oh, I'm not sure what this hole's from. But other than that, um, really not too bad. Tailgates, yeah, tailgates pretty straight. The outside looks straight anyway. And the front of the bed is in good shape. It's nice and straight, which usually, or a lot of times you'll find these that, you know, something is slammed into the front of the bed and it's all dented up. But, uh, hey, she's 31 years old. I don't think it'd take a whole lot to uh, get her looking decent, get out of the wind here. I am going to tell you right now, I'm not going to do a full restoration on this truck. Um, and probably going to use my other arm. And probably going to keep it stock height, not mess with that. And just have a pretty much stock 1993 ford f-150 xl although it does have air conditioning um that's about it am fm radio so 93 f-150 4 by 4 and uh i think it'll, it'd be a just a good just a good overall run around truck and there's no crack gosh darn it there's no crack in the windshield anyway the 93 f-150 uh, project truck that i've had now for a year up and running we're going to be making some videos on that so stay tuned hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and uh we'll catch you next time guys don't forget to hit that like button too it really helps so we'll catch you next time guys real soon bye bye